morning, hospitals are being pushed to the brink, fighting the coronavirus outbreak. New models point to a rising death toll in America, and a number of states are reconsidering or rolling back reopening. On the political front, the president says he will pressure states into allowing schools to return in the fall. ABC's Andrew Dimbert has the very latest from Washington. The nation now fastly approaching 3 million coronavirus cases, more than any other country in the world. The U.S. death toll also reaching a sobering new toll, over 131,000 killed from COVID-19. But on Tuesday, President Trump today. claimed... We're doing very, very well. Uh, again, mortality rate the lowest anywhere in the world. Dr. Anthony Fauci, lead infectious disease expert on the outbreak, flatly refuting the assertion. It's a false narrative to take comfort in, in a lower rate of death. A new model from the University of Washington warns 200,000 Americans could die from COVID before Christmas. And now a number of states are rolling back reopening as a result. Hospitals and healthcare systems being pushed to their limits. In San Antonio, Texas, we are days away from overrunning our hospitals. The military sending nurses and specialists there. Florida in for a fight on the front lines. A hundred nurses are headed to Miami where ventilator use has more than doubled. 50 plus hospitals across the state at ICU capacity. In Arizona, testing sites are packed and labs are backed up. Despite the dire situation in several states, the president Very says he is pressuring schools to reopen, even though local officials, not the federal government, hold authority over school reopening decisions. We're very much going to put pressure on uh, governors and everybody else to open the schools. This is the World Health Organization acknowledging for the first time it may be possible that COVID-19 spreads through the air more easily than originally thought. The president also officially taking steps to withdraw the United States from the World Health Organization, something his 2020 opponent Joe Biden says he will reverse if elected in November. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, Washington.